Jake Brandon here with Coop Connect, and we are joined this evening by Trey Stewart. Trey, how are you? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Good, man. I'm glad to have you here. Excited. Trey, tell us a bit about you. Where did you prep? What are you doing at BYU? Um, all that stuff. So I went to American Fork High School. Loved American Fork High School. Then I went on my mission. I went to England for nine months, and then COVID happened, so I went to Washington State, and then came home and just finished my freshman year. So took a while to get the mission legs back, but we're feeling good right now. Yeah. So uh, on the basketball team, what uh, position are you playing? Uh, like a 2-3 guard. Okay. Yeah. I heard a rumor from some alumni, because I guess there's a lot of alumni that come around the program, oh, Okay. Uh, that you can lock down AB. Oh. Yeah, we had some battles. <laughs> cool. So uh, it feels like there's a lot of changes happening in the basketball program mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Coach Burgess leaving, and then obviously we've got these roster spots to fill. Mm -hmm. we'll, talk, we'll start with Coach Burgess first. What's your relationship with him, and like, what was that? What was your experience with him kind of yeah. like leaving? So I was originally signed to UVU and Burge was my main recruiter. And I just love him, man. He's like such a good coach and just very personable. So I always appreciated the relationship that we had. And when he left, like it was painful because he was like, he was my guy and it was awesome to just learn from him. But he's going to Utah where he played. Mm -hmm. He's getting a better pay. Yeah. So I'm like for his family and for him personally, that's where his heart's at. I'm totally with him going there. Like, obviously, I'd want him on our side. Yeah. But he's up there, and if he's happy, I'm happy for him, man. So I'm cheering him on, but not when we play him, though. Yeah, oh, he's like, going down. Yeah, he's, he's going, going down. down. He's going down. Him and Gavin, man. We're just oh, going yeah, down. Gavin, too. Yeah. That's going to be a grudge match. No, it'll a, be fun, a fun grudge a match. A fun grudge match. But, yeah, I'm happy for Burge. He's a man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so then, how many different recruits do you think have been in to oh, visit wow. since the season? Just ballpark. It's been crazy. It's probably been. I know, I was like, I'll take the AB. I remember the first time I guarded him, because, like, fresh off the mission, I was lifting a little bit, and then I was like, this kid is so fast. And yeah. Like, I just, like, my mind couldn't comprehend why I couldn't stay in front of him, because he just... You have any tips for any young basketball players out? You got a shifty guy you're guarding? Um, honestly, just work on lateral quickness. Work on lateral quickness, but then also... So uh, I also heard that you're famous, or maybe infamous. I don't know. For uh, <laughs> interesting for being the first college athlete to sign another college athlete to an NIL deal. Yes. Tell me about that. Yeah. So I have my company Default Happiness, where I just do a bunch of like fun custom stuff and clothing and shoes. So I did one with Alex, where I made him and his wife matching hoodies. And then I made some shoes for him, and it was cool to see him because he wore them all through, like, his pro day workouts and stuff. That's so cool. it was cool to be like, oh, man, I made those shoes, and he's balling out in them. And they're significant to him and his wife, so that was the coolest part. I guess fiancé, I think it makes sense. Okay, okay. And then um, Jaron, I'm excited for that. I actually am going to meet up with him tomorrow, and we have an anti-bullying campaign. And he wants to start his own anti-bullying foundation. Okay. Um, so we just got a lot of work to do with that, so I'm excited for it. So I also hear that uh, you have hops. A little bit. A little a little bit. bit. I got it from my dad. You got that my from dad, your dad? My dad has bunnies, man. Okay, tell us about your dad then. Uh, he played basketball in college, and he played in Brazil and Sweden. Um, and he always, I remember, this is the best. I sent him a video because uh, I, I did a dunk where my friend threw the ball, and I jumped over him and dunked it. But I put my hand on his neck. So my dad sends me a video of him jumping over someone. And he says, look, Trey, no hands. <laughs> doing the same dunk, but he doesn't touch the guy. I was like, okay, okay. I got a little ways to go. So he keeps me humble for sure by his That's... old highlights that he definitely has saved his camera roll. That's great, man. No, it's funny, bro. It's That's funny. awesome. Where did he play ball at in uh, college? In college, he went to BYU, Hawaii, then UVU back when it was the community college, mm -hmm. and then had to transfer to UC Santa Barbara to finish out his last two years. So. Cool, and then a pro career in Brazil. Yeah, so him and my mom got married, and then they moved to Brazil. That's so tight. it was a good life for them for a little bit. But Tell me a little bit about um, what you do to like prepare yourself like physically and mentally mm -hmm. to play. So that was one of the most interesting things to learn because in high school I just always relied on my athleticism. Yeah. But then I came back from my mission and legs were just terrible and my body was really bad. We had this like program to test your functional fitness. 
and I took it in like a good range is around the 60s so they have you do like squats and stuff so I did it and then short calls up the phone and it was like 36 percent out of a hundred <laughs> Through the season, I was yeah. doing really hard workouts, and this last off season, I haven't really gone on any vacations because it's been dedicated to getting my body where it needs to be and playing a lot of pickup. Uh, just because when I came home, I hurt my ankles, so I wasn't able to get comfortable on the court. Yeah. So it's just been nice to just finally feel confident, feel like my body's right to play. So yeah. I'm excited for it. Cool. Well, we've got this Koa, and they've been like sponsoring us with some stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought maybe you want to try it where you're an athlete and you're trying to like take Zero care of that. Zero grams of sugar. Too. Zero grams of Zero sugar. Zero grams of sugar. I'm and. With it. Ashwagandha and yeah. five five hit points. Ashwagandha. Five HTP and GABA. I know none of those things. I don't know either. <laughs> Dude, Brugman was in here, Major League Baseball player, and he was like hyped about all this stuff. Really? So, so well, yeah, crack it open. Tell me what your okay, thoughts are yeah. here. Test it out. See if your mood is boosted. I know, the mood boost. Yeah. yeah. Get that happiness, man. Okay, Chase was right. That's pretty nice. Yeah. That's pretty nice. I'm with that. So as a default happiness, this is like default, I know, happiness, default in happiness in a can. Happiness drink, exactly. In a can. That's crazy. Yeah, Very that's, good. That's if crazy. you guys want to try it, you can go to livecoa.com, L-I-V-E-K-O-W-A.com. You can use promo code COOG15. That could be caps or lowercase, just one word, C-O-U-G-1-5-15. That second sip was nicer than the first. I you like that one? Yeah, that was nice. It's smoother, huh? <laughs> yeah. Very good. I like them, man. They're pretty good. Know, they're good. Appreciate what you're doing off the court. Thank appreciate you. what you're doing on the court. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. This is cool. Yeah, man. We'd love to have you in again. I will. So, um, feel free to take your mood boost with you. <laughs> I right? will take my happiness in a can. In a Thank can, you. right there with you. And uh, we'll get you on again. Maybe uh, if we can catch you in the season. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. With games and travel we'll and practices. We'll, we'll make it happen. Yeah. Okay? I appreciate it. Take it easy, Trey. Okay. That's it. Good connect out.